Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ninjas Academy. So guys, we are in this particular video, we are going to learn about our first video on the 3D printing process. That is of the actual process we are going to learn over here in this particular video. That is nothing but the stereo lithography. So this was the first ever 3D printing process that is introduced in Japan by Mr. Charles Hull in 1986. He patented the actual process uh, that is of stereo lithography. So guys over here in this particular video we are going to learn about the actual process of the stereo lithography how does the 3d printed objects parts prototypes are manufactured by using this particular process what kind of the materials that are used in which form it is used what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of this particular process so guys if you are new to my education channel engineers academy kindly subscribe to my education channel and please press the bell icon in case if you don't want to miss any latest updates from my side so let's begin with our today's topic of stereo lithography so guys in 1980s the era of 3d printing began so in that particular time the 3d printing advance 3d printing technology like firstly introduced into the market and then from that time like it was boosting up continuously until then then over here the first ever process of the 3d printing introduced in the market was stereo lithography the first ever 3d printer which is used to manufacture the 3d models 3d prototypes 3d parts patterns over here so this the first 3d printer that is that can be called as the stereo lithograph sla machine so this particular printer is capable of to manufacture the 3d printed parts from liquid resin polymers into the solid objects which converts this liquid resin polymers liquid pl plastic which is there in liquid form into the solid objects so guys let us understand what is the actual process of this stereo lithography and how these parts are manufactured by using this particular process so guys over here in this case there are four important parts okay the uv curable photopolymer resin which is there filled in the liquid form okay that is we can call it as a liquid plastic which is there in the tank the perforated table which is having a provision to move vertically up and down now this particular uh, perforated table like moves up and down into that particular tank also there is a, a source of the laser which is there and a computer which is gets connected to the table and ultraviolet uh, and uv laser so this particular computer controls the movement of the laser arm and the uh, perforated table also so over here in this case the actual process starts from 3d model as we have seen in our previous video of 3d printing so over here the part which has to be manufactured okay this particular cad file is prepared that is computer aided design so the cad file is processed and then that particular cad file is gets converted into a particular language or a particular file that 3d printer can understand that particular file so this particular file type can be called as the stl files file type the S acronym for the stls that is standard tessellation language so this particular stl file type gets like is an input to the 3d printer and 3d printer understands the stl file type because you know there are a lot of layers uh, in that particular uh, 3d models okay in order to cut it down in order to manufacture smoothly this stl file type is very much essential so that in a stl file type like when a 3d printer like uh, printed like uh, different parts okay in a in the forms of a layer on layer so in order to understand the geometry of each layer okay this stl file type is very useful so this particular stl file types gets is the input to the 3d printer and over here the 3d printer starts working in such a way that the this this particular perforated table is immersed in the liquid tank so as the table moves downwards the liquid polymer comes in contact with the through the perforated holes into that particular table so the uv laser is there and this particular laser hits the upper surface of that particular photo poly liquid polymer and when as soon as this particular laser hits the liquid polymer okay 
it gets like hard enough instantly so that was the actual instant process to get this uh, uh, hard hardening process of hardening is so instant so after the heating of this laser okay on that particular liquid polymer the upper layer gets like hard enough instantly and this particular laser is having a provision to move in any shape okay to form that particular design of that particular object so this particular uv laser moves instantly as you can see over here on the top surface of this liquid polymer and that the table which is there gets moved downwards to form a layer on layer okay one another so this particular layer gets fused together to the base layer that is the upper layer so this is how this cross sections of each and every part or each and every model gets manufactured by this uv uh, ultraviolet laser and the table okay as the table moves downwards and the laser moves at the predetermined path to form the cross sections to form the design of the 3d printed model or object so after that when the last layer of that particular model like finished up this particular whole of the like uh, the 3d printed part or model which is there it gets like like immersed in the another resin okay this, so that particular 3d printed model gets separated from this liquid polymer after the separation of the liquid polymer and after the process of the hardening okay the bonding is gets strong in the bonding between the all the layers gets strong in that particular resin and after that this particular uh, 3d printed model gets allowed to bake in a in an uv oven so inside that particular uv oven that is ultraviolet oven so at the predetermined temperature and the you know the all the layers gets hard enough and the you will get a desired surface finish okay after that particular process so after that you will get the end product or else the finished product so this was the actual process of the stereolithography so that in that this particular process the liquid photopolymer gets converted into a solid object so guys that was the actual process of the stereolithography so now let's talk about the some of its advantages and disadvantages well as we can see this the advantage is that the you know we will get a high surface finish most of the durable objects can be manufactured very easily it is having application from the medical equipments up to this uh, up to the commercial use or else up to the end to end solutions so this particular stereolithography technique is having uh, applications from the medical industry up to the aerospace industry you know a lot of the complicated parts can be easily manufactured by using this particular process you will get a high surface finish the the material which is used over here is having high thermal durability and also like uh, this particular 3d printed objects can be used for prototyping also for also it is used in the like uh, patterns it serves as a pattern for most of the major castings cuz the accuracy we are getting over here in this particular process is very much on a higher side so this is the reason like it it will be served as a master pattern for majority of the objects in some cases it is used for the final product such as in a case of uh, some sort of the snap fit or else some sort of the you know consumer goods consumer objects so it is having the major variety of the application over here in this case now if we talk about the disadvantages as the you know laser moves in a particular predetermined shape and a small amount of that particular uh, photopolymer resin comes in contact with the laser such as you know 0.1 uh, 0.15 mm okay so you know this particular actual process is very much slow and the laser uh, like uh, is like there are like very less surface area which gets connected which is comes in contact with this particular laser so this is why this particular process is very much slow process as compared to the dlp that is digital light processing in dlp we actually using a particular bulb or a light source which actually covers up whole of the area so in the majority of the surface area gets exposed to the light bulb 
and it hardens up easily but over here the laser is used so this is the reason the actual process is very much slow as compared to the dlp also the initial investment cost is you know that depends upon the model and the size of the object so the initial investment setup we can call we can say that it will it will depend on the type of the machine you are using so let's say it is on a higher side for as of now also over here in this case of stereo lithography if the overhang part cannot be manufactured very easily because in case of the overhang part the bonding is not so strong so that the uh, like the few bonded uh, photopolymer resin will like collapse directly so this is the reason we need some sort of the external support over here in this case of stereolithography process so that was the advantages and disadvantages of this particular uh, of this particular 3d printing process so now let's talk about this some of the materials over here so as you can see that this is the chart which represents the, all of the materials which is used in the uh, this uh, stereolithography process okay so the most commonly used material is the abs that is acrylonitrile butadiestyrene this is the material which is used in the uh, which is used in the fuse deposition modeling as well so these are the materials which are used over here in this particular process of stereolithography so guys this is the you know very much basic type of uh, the 3d printing technique which is so far and widely used uh, in the market and the initial this particular stereolithography is the process it is implemented implemented by the 3d systems incorporation in the japan in 1986 by mr charles hull and this particular 3d printing technology serves a major road from uh, medical industry up to the aerospace industry in the automobile sector it is having a wider range of the applications also in case of the consumer goods in the case of the some sort of the snap fits arrangement some sort of the like the plastic materials are gets manufactured by using this type of the technology so guys that was all about the stereo lithography in case if you like my video please hit like that will really motivate me to make more of such educational videos and guys please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy Thank you so much guys for watching this video.